complex process-oriented tasks can be broken down to the specific details of how they might best be performed by starting with use cases and then elaborating upon those use cases. So let me start with a simple example that everybody can understand about uh, what will take a, a very common process-oriented task. I'll take taking out the garbage. Let me put this little symbol here on the screen. Take out garbage. And you see here this egg rolled on its side or an oval. Uh, that's your use case. So that's it. There, there's a use case. There's a process. So you know that you need to take out garbage. So you make sure that you've identified that here clearly in your use case. Now use cases by themselves aren't very much good. What they need to do is they need to participate in a scenario. A use case scenario includes one other component mainly uh, called an actor. And the actor is the, the agent that acts upon the use case, that performs the use case, if you will. So, and, and there's, we're going to connect that actor to that use case with a little line there. And I see that this actor now takes out the garbage. Now, who might this actor be? I will say this is a, a homeowner, for example. Homeowners need to take out the garbage. Now let me just change the direction of this line here. Let's make that navigable forward so you can see more the direction of what's happening here. The homeowner is taking out the garbage. Now this doesn't necessarily tell every homeowner how to take out the garbage or you or me how to specifically take out the garbage. But one thing to keep in mind is that after the homeowner takes out the garbage, it's after the completion of that entire process that the homeowner feels they have accomplished a task. I could break down the individual more granular tasks of taking out the garbage. For instance, the homeowner knows that in order to take out the garbage, uh, that might involve getting out the garbage bag. Something else that might need to be done. So suddenly, I'll see that. We'll make that again go forward. So getting out the bag is also part of something that the homeowner might do. Uh, also, the, the homeowner might have to tie the bag up. All right. But here's the thing to keep in mind. If I'm a home homeowner, if I get out the bag by basically going and to my trash barrel and pulling out the full bag of trash and then I take that and I tie that up do I feel that I've really taken out the garbage no I haven't and really what I'm trying to accomplish is taking out the garbage so these really become part of taking out the garbage so all th all of these are really things that homeowners do. All three of these things are things that homeowners do, but, but you, you found out that one of them kind of is, is a little bit different because it describes some of the other ones. And here's how we're going to identify this difference. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to say that the homeowner, in this case the actor who is doing, performing the use case, the, the, the owner is, is down here, we're going to use a metaphor, we're going to say they're down at, at the level of the earth basically, they're at sea level. And there's a way to identify that. I'll show you a little icon here that I'm going to drag up and sit next to my use case. It kind of looks like little ocean waves. And that identifies that this is a sea level use case, which means basically that is the use case. That's the one the user really wants to accomplish. Of course, the homeowner need, knows they need to do these other two here, but they are really part of the sea level one. So how would I identify them? They are not sea level. Instead, they are referred to as fish level. So I'll put the little fish up there and another one there. Those are fish level use cases. They are not uh, the goal of the homeowner, but they are part of the goal. Now in fact actually the goal is take out the garbage, but I want you to understand that take out the garbage is part of a higher goal that the homeowner has. And this higher level goal is just to keep the house clean. So let's put that use case on there. That's another use case. Keep house clean. I take out my garbage to keep my house clean. I don't have to, but I, mean, I think I should. All right. 
So keeping the house clean, taking out the garbage is part of that. So and tying tying the bag is part of taking out the garbage. So what is what is this? And this is called a kite level use case. Okay. Now it, it also turns out that keeping the house clean is part of another big picture. And that big picture might be something like um, manage or what we'll to say own a home. A homeowner can, of course, own a home. That's the, that's the core thing that a homeowner would do, the main thing. And to a homeowner, that's very important. But what does, it, what does it really mean specifically? I can tell you that a homeowner owns a home, but ultimately that might mean that the homeowner keeps the house clean, which, of course, includes taking out the garbage, and taking out the garbage then includes these two things. So this is even higher than keeping the house clean, owning the home, and that's, that's a, a totally different level called the cloud level. So this is a basic introduction to the different levels. Um, there's actually one more. This getting out the bag here could actually be itself broken down into several uh, other use cases. For instance, uh, the homeowner, in order to get the bag out of the garbage, has to, uh, now I mean, bear with me, but this is all part of the process. In order to get out the bag, you have to bend over. Now that is even at a further level down below fish, and that is called the clam level. These are all the levels, and later on we will explain in further detail how to use them.